we are asked to fill in each component of r prime of t with plus, minus, or zero based upon the graph of the vector valued function r of t shown below in red. Notice on the red space curve we have points at t equals one, t equals two, t equals three, and so on, which gives us the orientation shown by the red arrows. The orientation is in this direction. The components of r prime of t are dx dt, comma dy dt, comma dz dt. And the sign of these derivatives indicate whether the x, y, and z components of r of t are increasing, decreasing, or remain constant. To help us determine the sign of these derivatives, we will look at a particular point on the space curve based upon the value of t, then determine whether the x, y, and z coordinates are increasing, decreasing, or remain constant. Looking at the graph, focusing on the x-axis, if the point moves in the positive x direction or this direction, the x coordinate is increasing, and therefore dx dt is positive. If the point moves in the negative x direction, which is this direction, dx dt is negative because the x coordinate is decreasing. Focusing on the y axis, if the point moves in this direction, the positive y direction, dy dt is positive. If the point moves in the negative y direction or this direction, dy dt is negative. Focusing on the z axis, if the point moves in the positive z direction, the z coordinate is increasing, the z dt is positive. If the point moves in the negative z direction or this direction, the z dt is negative. And then finally, to help us determine the sign of dx dt and dy dt, it will be helpful to focus on the projection of the space curve onto the xy plane shown here in black. So we first have r prime of one, where the first component is dx dt. So looking at the point on the space curve when t equals one, and then the projection onto the xy plane, it appears at this location, the point is moving in the negative x direction, or closer to the y-axis, and therefore the x-coordinate is decreasing slightly, which means dx dt must be negative. The next component is dy dt, at t equals one, the point is moving in this direction, which is the positive y direction, and therefore the y coordinate is increasing, dy dt is positive. The third component is the z dt. Looking at the point where t equals one on the space curve, we can see the point is moving downhill, and therefore the z coordinate is decreasing, the z dt is negative. Next we have r prime of three, Focusing on the point where t equals three on the space curve, notice how the projection onto the xy plane would be this point here. The first component is, the, the first component is dx dt. At t equals three, the point is moving in the negative x direction, which is this direction here, and therefore the x coordinate is decreasing. dx dt is negative. Next we have dy dt. Notice how when t equals three, this is the rightmost point on the positive y-axis, which means when t equals three, this is where the y-coordinate changes from increasing to decreasing, and therefore right at t equals three, the y-coordinate remains constant, and therefore dy dt is zero. We can also say that at this point, we have a local maximum for the y-coordinate. The third component is the z dt at t equals three, the point is moving uphill, or moving in the positive z direction, and therefore z is increasing, the z dt is positive. And finally we have r prime of five, focusing on the point where t equals five, and then the projection onto the xy plane at t equals five, the point is moving in the positive x direction, meaning the x coordinate is increasing, and therefore dx dt is positive not by a lot, but in this direction, the x coordinate is increasing. Next we have dy dt, at t equals five, moving in this direction, the y coordinate is decreasing, or the point is moving in the negative y direction, and therefore dy dt is negative. Looking back up at the space curve at t equals five, the point is moving downhill, and therefore the z coordinate is decreasing, the z dt is negative. I hope you found this helpful.